Hello everyone, and welcome to part 5 of my Prismata Master Challenges series. There's just one challenge left, the extremely unfair challenge, which, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> unfair challenge 2 was hard enough, but uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to at least give this a try or two. And uh, whether we win or not, I hope that uh, my analysis of the set will be useful to you in your own efforts. Anyway, let's get started. Destroy all enemy forces. Masterbot has been given a drone. Is it even possible to win? Okay. So, what is the deal here? Um, green looks pretty good. Aegis is a powerful unit. Tantalum Ray is good, although not as good since the nerf. Uh, it used to have, like... 9 health and you paid 2 per click, which meant you could click it 4 times and then it had 1 health. Now it has 11 health and you play 3 per click, so you can only click it 3 times and it has 2 health at the end. Um, but still, you know, a good, decent unit. Uh, but another thing that makes me think green is good is like Feral Warden is just super aggressive. And we probably want to be aggressive here, right? Because... I don't know. I mean, he has the advantage in every... Whether whether you go high econ or low econ, like, having an extra drone is nuts. Uh, so maybe that doesn't mean we want to go aggressive. But, like, okay, there's Feral Warden, there's Corpus. You could, you could maybe go just green-red, and... It's going to be tough to get Corpuses, right? Like, if you're ever, um... Corpus seems good if you like if you already have a corpus, then being able to click it and defend on Feral Warden is great. But if you've been defending with Feral Wardens and suddenly you have to take a break to buy a corpus, that's gonna be pretty hard, actually. Hmm. There's okay support for blue, of course, with um, Shredder and Polywall. So like I'm kind of thinking of something. Could you go a little bit breach proof here with like green blue? Uh like wild drones, shredders, you know, it's all frontline stuff. And then you can throw in some like, uh... honestly, Gauss Cannon is probably better than Tantalum Ray for that plan. Since in a breach proof situation, you don't really want to be clicking the Tantalum Rays. And if you don't, it's just like a more expensive Gauss Cannon with more health, it must be said. So I guess even in breach proof, it's. It's more breach-proof than Gauss Cannon is, if you don't click it. And if you do click it, it's more aggressive than Gauss Cannon is. So, okay, I, I maybe take back my claim that Gauss Cannon is better for breach-proof. But, like, Shredder... I don't know. Polywall... I find, I find it hard to believe that you can get enough econ for Polywall in a sort of breach-proof aggressive thing with Shredders and Tantalum Rays or Gauss Cannons or whatever. So those, those seem like the two main lines to me, to go, like, red-green or to go blue-green with breach-proof. If you're going red-green, you're obviously not breach-proof. Um, but, like, you have Aegis, which is a superb defender. Uh, you, it's hard to imagine having enough green to, like, be building constant Feral Wardens and also occasional Aegises, but I guess it's possible. And, of course, with blue-green, if you wanted to not go breach-proof, there's Chieftain, but... Uh, Okay, so I think I'm going to try the Breach Proof Blue-Green thing first. See how that goes. Yeah. I think I do indeed want the Conduit right away. And just keep droning, build some tech. Oh no, he's also going blue green breach proof. <laughs> I don't know. He has some. He has a few some more drones. Uh, so it would be nice, I think, to get up to three attack quickly, if there's a convenient way to do that. I also would like to consider defending for a little while, make it harder for him to get to my squishy drones. I think that's probably a good plan. 
So this gets me to one, and then next turn I can Shredder Gauss Cannon to get to three and kill some Wild Drones. Or, like, Shredder something else and click Tantalum Ray if I don't mind losing a little bit of health. Uh, let's put all these guys up at the top. And I think I am going to not be clicking my Tantalum Ray here. I mean, obviously this turn clicking it is not great. I could kill a Shredder, but I don't really want to. I'm going to try to become Breach Proof. It's hard to see it working. It's hard to see anything working in this kind of... Oh my god, that's right, he has Poliwall as well. Yikes. Well... We can do six damage this way, but that just kills his polywall, which sucks, right? Oh man, this is pretty brutal. Like he's so far ahead already. Ah, <laughs> uh, um. Maybe I should build another wild drone? This way I can hold back Shredder to de like sort of defend if I want. Or I could kill his Shredder. But that just brings him down to three, which he's fine to be, I, I think. Ugh, I can't get that if I get a Shredder. Okay, well. We can kill a Poliwall next turn, but he can just build Poliwalls forever. Oh, I can't even, because he, yeah, hmm. Help! This is too much! I think I want an Auric Impulse. Of course that's better than a drone. And uh, then next turn I can get like another Tantalum Ray and another Shredder. I don't know about these Cryo Rays from him. It doesn't seem like a great play. Okay, I can get the Poliwall here, which is pretty cool. Oof. I don't know. So I was thinking of building a wall to defend the drones. Um, but if he wants to, he can, like, freeze my two engineers and kill both walls. Or he could even freeze both walls. Freeze a wall. Kill wall NGNG drone. I don't know. Is that better for him? Unclear. Chieftain is so defensive, it's disgusting. I can hold back a Shredder and not kill the Bollywall, but I don't think that's a winning line. I don't think anything is a winning line here, but I do have more attack than he does. Yeah, here comes the Breach. Oh boy. Yeah, and he can just kill Wild Drone Shredder with his turn. Not very nice. Yep, we're making no progress here. Oh, that's not resign, it's restart. Well, fine. So, that was a loser. I think Wild Drones are still the way to go. And let's try going green-red this time. With Tarsier and Feral Warden, maybe we can make enough of a head start. Something like this. I don't know, I, 
guess I should kill the rhino and the drone. He's going to be killing the wild drones pretty soon, but for now at least I can defend a bit. Now we get our first feral. Let's put those up top here. And another Tarsier. And another Drone. This way we can kill a Wild Drone, I guess, if we want. Which I guess is about all we can do. Uh, I guess I could do those both of those things. But I kind of want, like, more attackers. Ugh, my Feral Wardens look so stupid. They're not defending. I forgot about that. I can get a corpus now, I guess. I don't know. I guess the Feral Wardens were fine. They didn't defend, but... Mm, yeah, I guess that's the way to defend. But they applied some immediate attack, and then they got to defend later, so... This doesn't defend, huh? No, I guess not. That does. Not thrilled about this outcome. But look how much attack he has. It's unreal. I mean, I could try to kill his polywall, but we, we're just treading water here. We're not doing anything. Right? <sighs> so let's say we instead kill the Shredder. Then I can defend. Okay. I'll still have six attack next turn for the Polywall if I want. At least he has no idea how to use... Well, uh, this isn't the worst use of Cryo Ray I've ever seen, I guess. It made me lose granularity. But, like, I have to find five defense somehow? I can build two Feral Wardens. Doesn't seem very good. I guess I can build an Aegis. Wait, it has to be more than five? Um, yeah, right. Five is just to not absorb. Build a drone. That's exciting news. Why wouldn't you just build a polywall? He wanted to build more drones, so he held a drone. That's like a clear error. But <laughs> I'm like out of resources. I can no longer do anything. Can't build any more attackers. All right. Well, these seven will just have to do, even though it's clear that they will not be sufficient. Yeah. Alright, you got me. Can I think of any other lines that might be, like, somehow useful? I could skip wild drones, and then try some of the stuff I was already doing, but without wild drones. 
It's usually a mistake to skip wild drones, but maybe when the opponent has a spare drone on you, you can't afford to have anything frontline. It's a possibility. Can I do something like this? Player one, like, does not have a very compelling Feral Warden rush, I have to say. So maybe we'll just go, like... What am I getting first? Blast Forge? I guess Animus first is probably best. Can build a Rhino to block his Shredder and a Tarsier. And I guess a Drone? Mm, maybe it's already Auric Impulse time. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna double Drone next turn. I bet you a million dollars. And so that makes Auric Impulse strictly better than Drone here. Aside from the fact that it cost me an Auric Impulse Supply, of course. If I envisioned running out of all 20 of these, I might consider not Auric Impulsing this turn. But since that's preposterous, I will not be doing so. All right, now we're finally getting that green we really, really needed a while ago. I don't know. Corpus time? No, I need more attack. What am I even attacking first? Wild drones or shredders? I guess I only have three, so... Must be wild drone? Means I need to hold a drone here. Parse your NG, I guess. He just, like, all this frontline stuff is so high health. I could actually breach his polywall if I wanted to. Well, not breach, but just, I could I could destroy it. No, I need this to just defend. Okay, maybe the idea here is to depend on my efficient attackers, where he's building, like, sort of inefficient attackers. Oh, Now all this attack is wasted. Okay, so back up. What could I have done differently on this turn? Instead of, like, building a Feral Warden, could I have done something else? Since I have all this wasted attack. Could I have, like, okay, instead of the Tarsier, we're building the Feral Warden, but now let's also build a Rhino so that we can get through his Polywall. Not waste a bunch of, of damage. I could try to get an Auric Impulse here, instead of the two NGs. Do I think I could afford that? Not really. Let's try it. I can always back up if I don't like how it turns out. Oh, I don't like how this is looking. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have any green. Okay, so we need the two NGs. Fine. throwing away his cryo ray charges for no reason. I have to find a 
five defense? How is that even possible? This this defends, I guess. But I'm I'm now on seven drones. And he has 16 and also more attack and better tech. <laughs> it's hard to see this going my way. Okay, I mean he's not absorbing this turn. There you go. We're clearly clearly the game is within our grasp. We're about to win. This is an untrue fact. Hang on. I held back too much stuff here because I'm not actually absorbing anything. Hmm. I mean, there you go. We got we got through his force field or his Ah. This is a nightmare. Yeah. All right. Well, this is clearly not going to work. Do I want to have one more try here? I just can't think of anything else to do. Like, okay, so the thing is, you can't possibly win this by, like, just playing... By, by finding a strategy that beats your opponent having an extra drone. There's no such thing. Um, you, you can only really win this by finding some way that Masterbot misplays badly and penalizing it. But I, I don't know how to use that information to allow me to come up with a viable play. Okay, so something I haven't tried yet is what if I, like, were to go for a, a bunch of drones? I can't imagine that working. It seems terrible in this set. But I'm going to go triple drone, see how that goes. Maybe I can make something happen. He'll go too aggressive and uh, our big blue with a polywall will, um, will hold him off for a long time. That's the plan. Forget about Feral Wardens, we're all about polywalls today. Do I want some red yet, or like what? Red doesn't seem that good, maybe I'll get more blue and I can go like Manticores and Shredders and stuff, I don't know. I can get more drones. I don't know if I have time for that, but let's give it a try. That's, you know, in fairness, that's the thing that Masterbot doesn't understand, is frontline defenders. He doesn't, like, realize it's important to get to exactly six. Of course, here he couldn't have gotten to six, but he could have, like, added some more tech last turn to make it possible. I don't know. So maybe maybe that's how we'll somehow exploit his, his failings. It'd be nice to get a Manticore or something, but I think that's sort of silly. Maybe I could get Corpus? Like Corpus Manticore? I don't know. We're not really ever attacking him in this in this uh, line. I think I need Tarsiers. Ooh, I don't know. I can't really afford to build Manticore because then I'm not absorbing his extra, his, his attack. Right? Uh, no. I don't think I can build Shredders. Can I? Maybe they're just, like, efficient soak while I build up red stuff. 
Doesn't seem great though. So I could get a Manticore, I guess. Is that useful for some reason? No, very, like I'm gonna want to attack him anyway next turn. Well, I guess it's just a cheaper way to build an attacker, like increase my attack. I can't really build two Tarsiers and two Steel Splitters. I could build two Shredders, I guess? But then I have to actually click them, <laughs> uh, which I'm not too keen on doing. Okay, I mean, this is not going as badly as the other lines did, I think. He's now getting a Poliwall, which doesn't seem that great for him. Oh, I don't have any, I don't have enough drones to build Poliwalls. This three freeze is really scary. I sort of expect him to kill Shredders if I don't offer him a breach. And that's sort of like fine with me. Killing Shredders is not that great a play right now. Okay, I mean, this doesn't look great, but Maybe it's good somehow. No. He likes killing frontline units, I guess, but I shouldn't conclude that he's therefore going to kill the Shredder. Yeah, all this attack does nothing. That's not true, I could kill two Shredders. I guess. His actual attack number is a lot lower than it was in previous attempts. having to build polywall plus wall here but I'd like to guarantee absorb if he clicks my polywall which I expect him to do and absorbing on rhino is not that amazing well actually hang on I could just hold back this this steel splitter it's not doing anything then I don't need the wall I can build a shredder instead or maybe even a tarsier seems a bit greedy Oh, he froze! All right, that's good play, I guess. Hang on. Um, I didn't expect that, uh, but I actually had two steel splitters I could unclick, so this is this is the same. Except it doesn't offer him the freeze. Right, he's gonna do it anyway, which is great news for me. This is actually going okay. He has a ton of drones. I don't know, he's soon gonna start a chieftain train. 
But, like, he doesn't actually have that much attack. I think this treasure is wrong. I should build... Oh, I don't have enough red for two tar seers. Okay. So let's just keep floating this auric impulse. Eventually we'll sell that drone back. Oh, he's not holding... Oh, he is holding the chieftain. Okay. Alright, you got me. <laughs> Spent four cryo ray charges to deal one damage, when two cryo ray charges would have done the same job. This rhino has never attacked. He was built forever ago and just like... So the opponent... <sighs> Nine damage from me basically does nothing. It's sort of a problem. I guess like 10 does something, but it's it's tempting to hold the the shredders back as like just defenders so I can build some more attack or maybe build a corpus or something. Hmm. But the thing is, like, he's gonna have all these chieftains. Like, he's gonna have chieftains dying every turn for a long, long time. If I can't do anything to him this turn, I'm not gonna be able to do anything ever. So maybe I need to click all these guys to just, like, do something. Finally selling this drone back. If he wants to... No, hang on. I'm not getting absorbed this way, right? I could build a wall, and then he has to at least freeze my wall to deny me absorb. That's probably a worthwhile investment. We killed two husks this turn. Congratulations. Hang on. How did we... Uh, what happened in this... Uh... Oh, he killed Polywall Shredder. I see. Yeah, that, that actually... Since that denies me Absorb anyway, I shouldn't bother with the wall. I should just build another Shredder. These chieftains are so good for him. What? <laughs> He's letting me absorb on Polywall? That that makes no sense. That's a clear error. I've never seen Masterbot do that. Um, here he threatens to breach, but that actually doesn't really matter, because our only absorber is a zero stamina corpus, so it, like, denies me one absorb if he breaches here. But he can do that anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let him have this if he wants it. Right, he could kill Polywall Shredder Shredder to deny his absorb anyway. See? Ugh, I'm still not really making any progress, though. One more Shredder? He's killing these faster than I can build them. So I need real attack. I could build another polywall, I guess. Maybe just another wall? Let me 
get out more attackers. Yeah, if he's gonna keep killing my shredders while the shredders are attacking, that's sort of okay with me. The problem is he just has like so much defensive flexibility with like a million drones, a ton of green chieftains. I mean, we're we've depleted the Tarsier supply. That's that's way better than we were doing. I can't believe this. He's taking no damage this turn. <laughs> better than we were doing in the previous attempts, I think. Yeah, but now it's all collapsing. I don't know. I mean, he's not absorbing. There you go, look at me, and I get to absorb. Amazing, what a great deal. No, this is terrible, we're clearly losing. And he still has the Chieftain Train going. Oh boy. He's just building Tarsiers, yeah, we lose again. Well, this was an interesting attempt. High Econ and like, I don't know, Shredders and Polywalls seem to make him play less well, so that's something you could try, I guess. Uh, in a future attempt. But I think that this is all I'm gonna do. I don't, I don't mind feeling, I, I don't feel defeated here. It's like, yeah, okay, I couldn't beat Master Bot when you had an extra drone. Oh well. Um, I didn't. That doesn't make me feel like a bad Prismata player. This is just hard. Um, and not the kind of thing that I really want to beat my head against. So I hope that you guys got some ideas out of this. Maybe see some things to try. And just like maybe benefited from my attempts to read the sets out loud and explain what I'm thinking. Nah, I don't know. I gotta say Masterbot looks like he played this one pretty well aside from the, the awful ways he attacked. Um, his defense was pretty good, like, the chieftains were, were disgusting, and... The early Gauss Cannon Steel Splitter stuff seemed kind of... The Gauss Cannon Shredder stuff seemed kind of weird, but... Oh, I guess it put on pressure while he teched up? I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of this video and of the series. Uh, we are just gonna leave this one last Master Challenge unfinished, leaving me with two puzzle packs, one puzzle away from completion. Oh well. Anyway, once again, hope you guys enjoyed, hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.